The Afghan cooks arrive at camp before dawn, so they don't get their heads cut off after work. That can happen if they're not careful. Last year an interpreter went missing from the airfield. He was nabbed and taken away, hands holding him by the hair, his heels left a kick, dragging in the dirt, his throat slit. The Taliban filmed it. You can buy those DVDs in the city markets. Powerful stuff. Intimidation. At the camp gate I watch as the cooks come, shuffling in, one by one, laughing, arms raised. They arrive in secret, filter in through the alleys, start peeling potatoes early. You don't ask them where they live, or how big their families are, or if the money's worth the risk. You learn the odd word and point to what you want. Sometimes they look confused, mostly they grin, sizing up our tattoos. It's amazing the things you don't stay amazed at. Afghan cooks risk losing their heads to make rice with lamb and eggplant, something none of us even like. <laughs>